in this country, you, um, you had basically a rural people and an oral people. And for over 200 and some years, it was against the law for them to learn how to read. And so black people were confined oftentimes to uh, the lowest echelons of the, of the economy. Uh, you did have tremendously talented black writers and artists and so forth, but it was a very small slice because of the slavery and the Jim Crow. So you're right, oh my God, the black talent in so many different ways and forms um, could have contributed so much to America, but America made it very clear that it needed a permanent underdog that would serve as the basis upon which its democracy would flower and flourish, you see. So it could flower and flourish for Americans of European descent if they worked hard enough. And the American dream oftentimes was very real for hundreds of thousands of hardworking Americans of European descent. But locked into slavery and Jim Crow, uh, you know, whether in fact this permanent underdog status was a precondition for the successes of American democracy for Americans of European descent is a fundamental question. Mm -hmm. a fundamental question. Sacrificial lambs for the feast. Mm -hmm. You see, we're never invited to the feast. Right. It's, it's a hell of a predicament to be in, mm -hmm. you know, especially in the land of dreams and liberty and freedom. <laughs> and plenty too. <laughs> Absolutely right. Now, the last 30 years, you know, we've seen some changes and some significant progress. But um, uh, for the most part, when you look at the, uh, the majority of black folk who are lower, middle, and below and the condition of their children, uh, it's still not a pretty sight. Mm -hmm. But what happens, escalation of incarceration of young men and, and at levels that either you have to believe that uh, young black men are genetically disposed toward criminal behavior or you don't care because there's no discourse about it. There's just no discourse about it. See, you say, wow, how many is this going, how many is going to take? You know, you already got almost 5% of all young black men between 18 and 26 in jail. Almost 31% connected through pardon and parole. If people believe that somehow we just dispose to this, then they should just say it. We got to work on the biology. If we don't, it must have something to do with the environment. Maybe we ought to talk about the environment. Maybe we ought to try to hit it head on.